Ah. Here we have, I think, an Ammonita. Sometimes they're very difficult to identify, but you can see at the bottom here, it's just breaking out of its egg type sac. The remnants of which you can see deposited on the top there. A lot of the Ammonites are poisonous, um, the vast majority in fact. And within that group, there's some of the most deadly poisonous mushrooms there are in this country. At this young stage, I can't really give a positive identification without taking it home and doing some further study. Just behind it, we have an example of a false death cap, a more mature example of a mushroom itself. Personally, especially when just starting to learn about mushrooms, and in order to eliminate the ammonite range from the mushrooms that you're picking, always ignore a mushroom with an egg-like sac at the bottom, and always ignore a mushroom with a collar here around the stem, until you know better. The ammoniters contain the most toxic um, mushrooms that there are on the planet, um, including, and the name gives a bit of a clue, the death cap, which is the cause of most mushroom toxin poisoning in this country. There's, um, on average, one or two people who die from misidentification of that particular mushroom on a yearly basis. There's also one called the Destroying Angel, again, there's a clue in the name. And the most iconic mushroom of all, and hopefully we'll get a chance to see that at some point today, which is the Fly Agaric, which has a red cap with white speckles on the top of it. You'll have seen it in fairy tale books. Here we have an example of the fly agaric. Is your typical mushroom to appear in fairy tales, stories of gnomes, even stories of Santa Claus, perhaps. Um, it's a poisonous mushroom, um, so handle carefully. I'm using a different knife so that when I cut the stem, I won't get the juices of this mixed up with the edible mushrooms. Here we go. We see the egg-shaped sac that it's grown out of. We see the veil around the stem and the remnants of that veil appearing in quite small numbers on this particular one. The underneath is gilled, like all the ammoniters, and has had its uses in history. One of the um, reasons it was called the fly agaric was people used to use it to stupefy flies, almost like fly paper. You'd break up the cap and put it in a bowl of milk and it's poisonous to flies as well, So, but flies love it. Um, you very often find it here, you can see the maggots are already in the stem and it's very quick to disintegrate. The flies literally do love this mushroom. Um, I believe reindeer also love this mushroom and people in Lapland scatter it in a trail to bring them in from the wild, but always a delight when you come across it in the woods, a splash of colour in the undergrowth. And a mushroom that most people recognise, and a fine example too, and that's a good 10 inches tall. Beautiful, but stay away from it. Beautiful, but deadly. Um, again, until you know, ignore any mushroom with a red colouring. It's one of nature's warning signals. We're going to put him back, let him grow. Even if it's poisonous? Even if it's poisonous, they're all important in um, nature's great plan. So important that the forests are left to do their own things and that these mushrooms continue to grow. Mm -hmm.